Hello, good day. This is uh, Arvin Alonso, and I would like to demonstrate to you how to create a self-enrollment key, which is very useful in enrolling participants to a certain course in uh, Moodle. By the way, Moodle is a learning management system, which is uh, one of the widely used uh, LMS because it's an open source and free. So let me demonstrate to you how to create uh, an enrollment key for every course that you create in Moodle. So first, you have to look into the course that you would like to create, where to create your, your enrollment key. So for example, here I have a course enrollment key or self-enroll. And then there are two ways, by the way, to have this, uh, the enrollment key. When you when the course is already active, you just click on the action menu and then click on more and then you have the course administration being a teacher assigned as a teacher and then click on users tab and then we have here the enrollment method. So we have select self enroll enrollment. Now we have here some choices actually an enrollment key has been created by default but you can change this one say for example i would like to have an enrollment key uh c c bay uh, one does a e21 does visa for example so you have the enrollment key then you can set other options like for example when will the enrollment start so you can have a start date say for example you would like to start February 10 and then you would like to have an end date of February 11 you can also set the time here and then you just click save changes okay so take note of the enrollment key. You can now give the enrollment key to your students or to the participants of the course. The other method actually is when you are in this course, take note that you have the participants link here. You can just click on the participants and then under the action menu, you have the enrollment method self-enrollment it will go to the same uh, environment then you just do the same so if you notice the enrollment key that i have placed a while ago has been uh, stored so that's very simple uh, now if you again if you have the enrollment key you just give uh, the enrollment key to your uh, students or to your to the participants of the course and then of course the course name uh, so that they can enter into the course name and have the self-enrollment so that's all in uh, this is a very useful actually uh, so that uh, you will avoid manual enrollment you just imagine if you enroll all your students individually and you have seven classes times 50 in a class so that that's very uh, tedious work so this will help you of course don't forget that once uh, your students has been enrolled check the participants counter check whether these are your real students for the class okay so that's all for the self-enrollment i hope you learned something new in this presentation and of course i i hope that you will be uh, applying it in your courses, especially in your classes. God bless everyone.